ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is James Spann. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, the 5th day of February. And we are getting set for a dynamic storm that will be blowing in here late tonight and tomorrow morning. And the timing adjusting a little bit on the model runs. Let's go quickly to some Skycam shots early this morning. And boy, it's warm out there. Uh, you were looking at the uh, Walker County Courthouse coming from the Jasper Skycam on top of the King Building. Readings are in the low 60s this morning, and that is above the average high for this day. Up in Cullman County, that's uh, U.S. Highway 278, just east of downtown Cullman. And the Birmingham Skycam looking north from the top of the Daniel Building. Well, that picture tells a story, doesn't it? What an upper trough coming through the uh, Four Corners region. Convection firing in advance of that in the warm sector, and we've got our first severe weather box right there in advance of the trough covering north central Texas. It includes the uh, Dallas Fort Worth metro area and Waco, and uh, we'll kind of watch that and see how that whole thing begins to develop. And uh, that is the initiation of the thunderstorms that will be impacting Alabama uh, late tonight. The convective outlook uh, for today, we've got a moderate risk that has been shifted west based on the model uh, idea of this thing slowing down somewhat. Uh, we got a moderate risk over uh, much of Mississippi, western Tennessee, much of Arkansas, north Louisiana, even back into northeastern Texas, and then up into southern Illinois and western Kentucky. And then for Alabama, a slight risk of severe weather basically along and west of a line from near Gadsden down to Atmore. Uh, no risk at all for the southeastern part, simply because the storms won't get there until tomorrow. And uh, within that moderate risk, there could be an upgrade to a high risk later today, and certainly that is a very dangerous situation out there, and our friends to the west will have to watch that very closely today. Here's a look at the uh, tornadic probability what that means, there's a 15% chance of a tornado within 25 miles of a given point, and the chance of damaging wind is much higher, 45%. And that certainly is up there in that high-risk territory, and I would not be shocked if that was upgraded later today in the uh, midday update. And then day two, now we've got a slight risk well into Alabama, basically from uh, uh, Scottsboro, Birmingham, and Mobile on east as this event will linger on into day two tomorrow morning. And uh, uh, it'll be interesting to watch this whole thing unfold, but there's no doubt the storms are going to be going on probably uh, early in the morning. Uh, there's a look at the QPF chart. And again, the good thing here, we're expecting rainfall amounts of one to one and a half inches, and I think that number looks pretty good there for us. Well, let's look at this thing on the model output. This is the uh, 06Z run of the GFS, valid at noon today. Here's your trough down at the surface, the surface low developing up there near Sherman, uh, Denison, Texas. And the Gulf of Mexico wide open. We'll see record warmth in many areas today. We're expecting mid to upper 70s, and somebody might even touch 80. It's happened before in February, but not that often. But not, obviously, that's a uh, red flag. Tonight, the surface low at midnight moves up to Indianapolis, down to 1,000 millibars. And your squall line is still back there in the Mississippi River. But the concern, of course, at this point would be any discrete cells that develop in advance of the line tonight. And we'll be burning the midnight oil. But you can clearly see how the model is trending slower. And then uh, midday tomorrow, the uh, line is moving through East Alabama, moving off into Georgia. So really for the squall line, it looks like the main risk of that thing is going to be from 3 until 9 a.m., uh, with the potential for damaging winds, nothing like a daybreak squall line. Now, here's a look at the instability values. This is at 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. Surface-based capes, yeah, we've got it as far north as Cincinnati. And that's suggesting uh, cape values there up to uh, 500 or so, maybe over 500 over northwest Alabama. Can you have severe weather at 6 in the morning? Yes. But certainly it beats that thing coming through at 6 o'clock in the evening, no doubt about that. But the instability is there. Helicity, you bet it's there. Uh, this is the uh, 0 to 3 kilometer helicity, and this is suggesting values in excess of 300 for parts of North Alabama. Uh, the wind fields, and again, all of this is 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. Uh, this is at 850 millibars, about 5,000 feet off the ground. 
I mean, that's suggesting a really good 50 knot low level jet. This is at 500 millibars. Uh, uh, that jet is uh, 75 to 85 knots, and really the core of that is still a bit uh, off to the west. And then at jet stream level, winds up there, and, and the core of that exceeding 150 knots. So all of the players are there on the field. It's just coming through at a weird time of day. And we'll make the uh, adjustments accordingly in the forecast. Uh, but certainly we'll mention rain and storms late tonight and tomorrow morning now. Some could be severe. And still the chance of a few isolated tornadoes tonight, but certainly the prime threat would seem to be the chance of damaging straight-line winds with that line. We'll go into Thursday. Uh, things are quiet, although a Vortmax is coming at us, but with no moisture, no rain with that, maybe a few scattered clouds. Friday looks uh, dry. Saturday, look at the trough sharpening up over the east at the uh, surface. It's going to turn colder. I think we'll have to bump our numbers down. That's a big 1,044 millibar high coming at us from the north and uh, our numbers are probably a little too warm I think we've got mid to upper 50s it might be mid to upper 40s if this is right and then Sunday looks uh, cool and dry again we should probably be down there in the 20s at daybreak with a high close to 50. Uh, next rain event showing up on the 12th about a week from today nice Fort Max rotating through that looks wet and yeah we see that 540 thickness line over the Tennessee Valley. But, hey, let's get this thing out of the way, then we'll focus on that. At the end of the forecast period, the 20th, kind of a zonal flow of Vortmax uh, off to the uh, west, and that looks uh, relatively wet. But, again, the one thing we can say, uh, still no sign of any really big Arctic blast here for the next 16 days. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog, the next video here by 3.30 today. And, of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless.